TV5 First Alert Forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. Well, it's a bit cool across Michigan this morning with temperatures starting out in the upper 20s and lower 30s, but nothing we can't handle, of course, but it is below freezing and we did have a few spots last night that were still on the wet side before we had these temperatures fall down. So any areas that did have some of that moisture left over, they had the chance to freeze if they were untreated. So we do have a few slick spots. They're isolated and patchy, though they uh, can sneak up on you. So pay attention for those as you head out there this morning. 30 in Saginaw and Flint right now and Midland as well across the north. 27 in Houghton Lake, West Branch, 26 in Oscoda. So we are a little chilly this morning, but again, nothing we can't handle here in mid Michigan. Of course, being that it is January after all, we've got cloudy skies on the uh, first alert pinpoint Doppler live from MBS nothing else other than that and we got a few flurries that will be moving through off and on throughout the morning hours just a few snowflakes coming down from those and that's what the hour by hour is showing us here again just a few of the flurries not causing too much of an issue for us as we get later into the forecast as we get into this afternoon temperatures warming back into those low 30s it's possible that a few of us try to get into the mid 30s but i think we're kind of really going to be stuck in those low 30s for us as we go into the overnight hours we are going to be dry so this evening and into the start of the overnight dry with no issues once we get into sunday morning though we start to add in the chance for some snow showers. Now let's take a look at the clock here. We're talking 6 a.m. and we have overall just the spotty showers moving through. We're just we're just about everybody's going to be seeing these showers, but it's not going to be a widespread consistent snowfall like what we need to really pick up those accumulations. It's also moving through pretty quick. We were just looking at 6 a.m. Now it's noon. We're only talking about six to eight hours here and we're starting to see the snow uh, move out. Usually we want 12 to 24 hours of that heavier snow falling down and again, it's not heavy snow either. So just the snow showers moving through tomorrow morning. It's possible that we pick up a quick accumulation on the roadways enough to cause a few slick spots. But again, it's uh, it's not going to be around for long enough. It's not going to be consistent enough. It's not going to be heavy enough to cause any major concerns for us as we go through the rest of your Sunday. And then in addition to that, those temperatures there warm up just barely above freezing for a time during the afternoon after the snow moves through. So it's quite possible that uh, a majority of the snow that we pick up, even though it's only going to be around an inch or two, uh, could melt by the time we get into Sunday evening. So as we go into Monday morning for the morning commute, no issues here. We're dry again, and uh, I don't see any reason why we'll have uh, issues from that snow on Sunday lingering uh, into Monday for us. So it should be a pretty nice forecast there. However, we do have more chances for snow as we go later into the forecast, and that's going to start on Tuesday. It's going to be a lighter snow. But first, let's take a look at uh, those accumulations that we'll get here for your Sunday. Overall, it's pretty light. Uh, most areas picking up one to maybe two inches on the highest ends and overall I expect most of this accumulation to be on grassy surfaces uh, the roof of your car the roof of your home things along those lines so let's jump back into the hour by hour let's go later into this week though a few isolated chances are for snow as we go into Tuesday and then here comes Wednesday the next chance for some accumulating snow this storm system right here is what we're keeping an eye on to move to the Great Lakes now here's the thing as we go through the next couple of days this is going to wobble around back and forth some and that'll change how heavy the snow is for mid Michigan if this storm system goes further south we're going to be in the lighter snow up here if this storm system tracks further uh, north closer to mid Michigan then we'll be in some of that heavier snow so we have to continue to watch where this storm tracks in order to pin down those details for us, but here's a look at the seven day forecast. Again, a pretty decent chance that we do get at least some amount of snow for Wednesday and a decent chance that it is accumulating snow as well, because beyond that temperatures are cold. We're going to be cool enough uh, on Wednesday to make this happen, so we're going to keep a close eye on as we move forward. Temperatures starting the week in the mid 30s, cooling down into those upper 20s with overnight lows in the teens there, feeling more like January by the end of this coming weekend.